Hey guys, how's it going? It's AC Milan MTL here, and today I'm here to talk to you about the International Champions Cup match between uh, Milan and Chelsea that was played last night at the MetLife Stadium in New York. Um, so Milan had to win this game in order to get to the finals of this competition uh, in which they would play against uh, Real Madrid. However, they lost this match with the score of 2-0. And today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, what my personal thoughts are about their performance, players that did well, and players that did bad, and so on. Personally, uh, I have to say that I like the performance Milan had in this game uh, because we saw a lot more controlling of the ball, great passing, uh, the ball was circulating very well from the defense to the forwards, and um, personally, I really like this. I like that there was more control in this game, unlike the other games that we saw, especially the one against uh, Man City. And uh, that is very key in order to uh, keep the ball more and obviously get more chances and uh, let the opponents get less chances as possible. Possession of the game is a very important factor and uh, I think Milan played pretty well uh, under this aspect. Um, today we saw also a new player that started uh, his journey with Milan. We're, we're talking about Matias Silvestre in defense. He played for the most part of the game, and uh, for his first game in Milan, my personally, my personal opinion was that he played quite well. Um, he didn't give away the ball too much. Uh, of course, near the end, he was getting a bit uh, rusty, mainly because he probably hasn't seen much action with Inter before coming to Milan, and obviously fatigue also plays a big part. Uh, we have to also understand that Milan has been traveling a lot this past week, so fatigue does build up. And uh, honestly, despite the scoreline, we can't complain about the playing style. Um, however, there are a few things that Milan have to improve on and that I see on this game and that keep repeating itself. Uh, one of the most important things that personally I find uh, Milan needs to improve on is that we give the ball away way too much from the defense uh, sometimes way too many passes going wrong and this counters this pretty much sums up that there's too many counters uh, from the opposition and um, let's face it our defense is not the fastest defense there is not the strongest as we know and this obviously could make us pay a lot especially in the games that count such as the Serie A and the Champions League. Um, we have to understand that especially in the defense midfield phase we can't give up the ball like that sometimes and uh, as I said because we don't have a fast defense uh, this could cause us to be caught on the counter and maybe face some heavy penalties um, in concern to the other team scoring goals and stuff. Another thing that I saw, especially in the second half that I didn't like, was a lot of useless crossing um, from some players, really. Milan has never had some good crossers, especially uh, left back and right back uh, when they do move up. And uh, also the midfield, such as Noce Rino, really, the crossing has been poor, very poor. And also, um, the people in the box, players in the box that are not getting their head on it. Uh, obviously, it's very painful to watch, I have to say. Because we don't want to see this happening, especially in games that count. Uh, crossing needs to improve, guys. Um, really didn't like what happened in that uh, aspect. Um, some players that I saw that played very good in this game has to be once again Nigel De Jong guys I said it at the beginning of the preseason I'm gonna say it again and I won't be tired of saying it personally I think it's like a signing for us this season since he hasn't played many games last season due to his injury um, this player obviously you can see he's in top shape probably I would say the player that's most in shape of the team right now is Nigel De Jong really shows that he's ready for the season and uh, he's ready to make damage to the other team guys very good player plays very good in front of the defense and i have no complaints for it from him 
also, um, as I said, we also saw Poli making some good plays, and uh, personally I liked what the youngsters bought, especially Kingsley Boateng. This guy came in in the second half, and uh, without any introduction, he got straight to the job. He, he's a very energetic player, which I really like him like that, uh, plays very well, and you need players that bring energy to the team. He's hungry, he's hungry to do good, and that is what we want, especially from the youngsters. Now this guy plays in the Primavera, and we know that he's not going to be in the Milan senior team, but he surely wants to prove his worth in case uh, Milan does need a call-up, and they will call him up. Um, as for the players that I didn't like in this game, once again, Kevin Prince Boateng, just not doing it. He's just not doing it, guys. Uh, this player... Personally, I think his time is over at Milan. We gave him too many chances, especially last season. I hate to say it, but uh, his time is done at Milan, guys. Um, last season, of course, we know that he didn't do well uh, compared to his first season where he was playing with Ibrahimovic and he was supported by him. Instead, last season he wasn't, and we thought he was going to come back this season and do good. But no, guys, honestly, what I've been seeing in these past few games... Obviously, very horrendous. Didn't like what uh, is coming from him. And as well as Nocerino, these two players, guys, in my opinion, need to leave. Um, they can't take place at Milan. And Milan needs to be good and replace these players. In my opinion, guys. Um, that's pretty much it for the match in general. As I said, pretty well played by Milan. Another thing um, that I have to say is that we can't finish, we're not getting many shots, I think we only got one or two shots on target, Chelsea was very good in blocking shots, and um, Milan needs to improve on that aspect as well. So that's pretty much it for the match report guys, um, Milan will play their next match on August 7th for the third place match of the International Champions Cup, and they will be playing against LA Galaxy, so my next match review will be on that one. Uh, also guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook for more Milan news as I post updates on a daily basis to obviously keep you guys updated with the latest news around the Milan world. And also don't forget to subscribe to AC Milan MTL for match reviews after every game. Thanks for watching guys, I'll be seeing you guys on the 7th of August for the match review of uh, LA Galaxy vs Milan. This has been AC Milan MTL, you're signing off. As usual, Forza Milan.